In this video, I want to explain the concept of voltage drop in a slightly different way. Um, it's really important that when you try to diagnose any circuit using electrical testing, that you first understand what voltage should be present at that point in the circuit under any circumstance. So, for example, whether the switch is open or the switch is closed, we should know what the voltage will be at any point in these circuits. So I've drawn a couple of simple circuits here. Very simple circuits. We'll assume that these are 12 volt batteries. In this first circuit, the negative side of the circuit is grounded. The positive side goes through a switch to a resistor, which is then grounded. And so, so if you remember, this is a complete loop. The ground symbol means that these are actually connected to each other. So there's a complete circuit here. The only difference with the second circuit is that on the positive side, it goes through the resistor first. And then, is, and then we hit the switch, and then it's grounded. So the switch is on the ground side of the circuit. So if you look at this, here's the resistor. This is the power side of, this, of the resistor circuit, and this is the ground side. This is the uh, power side of this resistor circuit, and this is the ground side. So we've got a switch on the power side, switch on the ground side. So this is a very simple concept, but when the switches are open like this, we know that we'll still have 12 volts, the battery, on the positive side, and we should have zero volts on the negative side. That's true in either case. And that should be true whether the switch is open or closed. Now granted, when you close the switch, sometimes the battery voltage will drop a little bit, but still, this, this voltage should remain close to this. Now what changes is I would come over here and I would say, well, what about right here? This is the power side of the resistor. And this is the ground side of the resistor, right? This is also the power side of the resistor. This is the ground side. So if I came when the switch was open and measured voltage right here at this point, I would actually find zero volts. And I would come over here and I would find zero volts. And the reason is because it's connected to the negative side of the battery. It's grounded. But when the switch closes, when the switch closes, now we'll suddenly have 12. So this is 0 volts when it's open and 12 volts when the switch is closed. This side, however, is always 0 volts. When the switch closes and current begins to flow through the resistor, all 12 volts should be dropped across that resistor. Now down here on this circuit, we should have, at this point with the switch open, we should have 12 volts. I should also come over here to this side and even though this is on the ground side of the relay, I should have 12 volts here. Because the switch is open and no current is flowing through the resistor, no voltage is dropped. And if we look to see which side of the battery it is connected to, it is connected to the positive side. Now, as soon as this switch closes, this changes. This now is connected to ground, which is zero volts, and all of the voltage should be dropped across that resistor. I don't know if that makes sense, but ho hopefully that uh, clarifies something that's confusing to a lot of people. But when the switch is closed, all of the voltage should be dropped across the resistor. It should be 12 volts difference from one side to the other. However, when the switch is open, no voltage is dropped. So you'll have the same voltage on both sides of the resistor. It's often confusing to people. They'll come and say, hey, I tested this, and I found there was 12 volts here and 12 volts here. I think that maybe I'm, I've got a short to power on the ground side. And the answer to that is no, you cannot have 12 volts on the ground side unless the ground is open. So obviously the circuit is open when we have 12 volts on both sides. It's not a mystery, that's actually normal, and that's how it should be when we, we read it with the circuit open. But once that circuit closes and all the voltage now drops across that resistor, we find zero volts on this side. Hopefully that helps clarify a, a concept that's sometimes confusing.